let me say thanks again to vonlive.tv. I, I am really glad I found you guys. Uh, this is our second week here on vonlive.tv, and uh, it, it's it's terrific uh, as far as I can tell so far. Um, last week we, we was. Uh, great show and it, it looks like this week's going to be good and with livestream.com going away or the the, the, the free version of livestream.com going away anyway um, we we really needed a place to go and and vonlive.tv is that place so um thanks to you guys over there whoever you may be because <laughs> i don't know <laughs> Anyway, we're going to kick it off with some jams here. Hopefully the Moose Girl will show up during this first set. Uh, she, she does that sometimes. She does that. You know, you never know. Uh, anyway, so uh, to celebrate, help to celebrate the day, we're, we're going to start off with a little bit of Hank Marley. Yes, it is. It's all going to pot. Willie and Merle there uh, doing it up nicely for us. Thank you, Kate, for the request. Uh, very nice indeed. Before that, we had Black Sabbath and a Sweet Leaf in a, in a very bizarre little video, um, I, which I don't know what that movie, that, that video is from, uh, but the, this guy put it together for us, and we watched it here. So, uh, cool. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we kicked it off with a Roll of Bob Marley by... Mr. Hank Marley. Yes, indeed. A video I made many, many, well, not that many, 2010, eight years ago. <laughs> yeah, old Hank. Uh, I, I, I spoke to him a couple times. His name's not really Hank, but uh, that's the name that he, that he released it on. Back in the old days of uh, MP3.com, before they went to, they went to pot, and not in a good way. Yeah, MP3.com used to be uh, a place where uh, uh, just just regular old any any day artists, you or I, could record music and put it up on MP3.com, and people would be able to go up there and download it. And when I was over there looking at it back in the 90s, this was the late 90s, I guess, uh, and and I, and I found this song there, "Roll a Bob Mar Roll a Bob Marley" by Hank Marley, and I, I was listening to that and I said, "Oh, I, I got got to keep me that song," and I, and I downloaded it to my hard drive. And uh, eventually, I went, wound up uh, back in uh, 2010 uh, making a video, just uh, images and little short video clips there of uh, that particular song. And the guy, Hank Marley, uh, came across it there on the YouTubes, and he said, "Hey, man, great video! Thanks for putting that up." So <laughs> I got full permission from the original recording artist there on uh, that particular video for. Uh, Whatever, whatever rights I needed, I, I don't know what those were, but cheers to him. Happy 420 to him, to Hank Marley and his band. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, good stuff. Um, good stuff, good stuff. All righty. Um, hey, hey. Hey, we got a moose girl. Hey. <laughs> All right. That's all. Oh, not too much. Just uh, rambling on about this, that, and the other thing. Weed. You know how I do. <laughs> Weed. Yeah, it's 420 day. 420. Uh, it's any other day to me. I know. I know. Every day is 420. Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> but that's all right. Um, I mean, it's cool, you know, there's one day that we all kind of, like, celebrate and call it our holiday age, and that's yeah, fine. Yeah, but... yeah, 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 no, it's, it, it, uh, it's a good thing, you know, to have a special day that the, the entire world celebrates 420. Even though it is Hitler's birthday. Yeah, give a crap about that. Who cares about that? Yeah. Right. <laughs> So, yeah, oh, it's 420, man. and there's 29 states that have some form of medical legalized marijuana. But we're still behind the times because there's only 
a few that are it's legal across the board, recreational marijuana, quote unquote, recreational marijuana. Recreational. Right. It's, um, it's, it's for, you know, even if you use it strictly for recreation, it still improves your mental health, so. Yes, it does. And, um, I just, I live in a fucking <laughs> shitty state. Yeah. I have a shitty fucking governor, and, and, well, and, 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 and it's a state that's fucked up because we got our first hemp store opening in Black River Falls, but then we got people here in Eau Claire County getting busted left and right for weed. But 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 answer me this question. It's stupid. Answer me this question. What? When, when is Walker's term over? I don't fucking know. I don't. They'll probably vote him in again. Can they? I don't know. It, you, there's only there's set term limits, right? Right. There's, well, I, I don't know how yeah. it is. In, in... He, he, he feels like he's been in there for ten fucking years. <laughs> well, he they, does. they they Seriously, they get... he has. He's been there like ten fucking years. And, well, well, and they... he's gotten paid for. So the thing is, is he does not get elected. No, he of gets, course not. None, he gets none of them. Paid for by the. Uh, none none of them really do. None of them really do. A anyway, um. That pisses me off. In in New Mexico here, they they get maximum of two four year terms. In in this year. In, in this year ends the reign of the neocon scumbag Susanna Martinez. Only to be replaced by another one. You know, that's well, the thing but, about politics. But, but, you think you're going to get better, but you never do. You get worse. <laughs> it's, not, it's not got anything to do with better or worse. But the the the, uh, the the people that are running the, are for office are running under the legalized pot yeah, banner. Yeah, that's, they, they, that's why these Coke brothers or whatever, Cotton brothers, that's why they picked Wisconsin. Because they knew they could buy off the governor <laughs> forever. Uh, well, well, the, like forever, because uh, there's no term limit. Anyway, so the douche is going to be there forever. <laughs> no term limit. As long as he's being okay. paid for by these motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, anyway, so the the ones that are running this year um, are are running under the legalized pot banner. <laughs> so, so. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. So New Mexico could be the next uh, Colorado on the list. You know, the thing well, is, is, most people out there, and this, and I don't know how many people are actually pot smokers or not, or how even if you're not a pot pot smoker, if you're like pro pot or you don't care. If it's pro freedom, or not, just be pro you know freedom. I mean? Pro freedom. Right, pro freedom. Um, most people out there still believe what they what they've been told about weed, which is total fucking bullshit. Right. Well, you know, they're not going to vote for the pro weed party. Sorry, they're not. Oh well, I think they will here. Not enough people. I, no. I think they. I think they will here. Why? You know a lot of pot smokers there, in Moriarty. <laughs> I don't know anybody in Moriarty. <laughs> All right, there you go. What but are you basing the, uh, your 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 prediction on? Well, no, I'm I'm basing it on <laughs> I'm basing it on 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 the the idea that people believe in one you know Republican or Democrat, and people are sick of of the Republican people running the show. Um, so they, the Democrat that's running with the pro-weed? Yeah, of course. Of course. Oh, okay. uh, Republican's never going to run under pro-weed. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it, it looks like it's go, it might go that way. It's all going to pot, you know, like you, like you said. So, um, uh, That used to be a phrase that meant something bad. <laughs> I, I know. I know. But now... It's good. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, let's see what we I got mean, here, Frumpy. Most people that are anti-weed, I found, are very, very misinformed on the subject of it. Of course they are. They're very misinformed. Of course they are. And they think it's as bad as heroin or meth. They put it in the same category as those things. But well, not, yeah, because, be, because the government made it under that category. Right, right. Yeah, so the government wouldn't lie, would they? <laughs> oh, oh, no, they wouldn't lie. Oh, no. If you think that, eh, you're more of a dumbass than I even thought. Oh, man. <laughs> you think the government don't fucking lie their ass off to you? You need your head examined. Yeah, exactly. Um, but, but you know, that that's just that's just how it goes. Uh, it, uh, it, 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 it should be interesting to see, and if it happens... 
you know, I, I don't know what what they do, how they do, would do it, but um, it would probably be at least a couple of years before it got legalized here. See, that's my thing, is I'm running out of fucking patience. I'm sick of seeing people getting busted for weed, and then we're opening a hemp store. That's, that's... Well, hemp's good. I like hemp. Hemp has a lot of good uses. That's, you know... Uh, it, it, that proves to me that any state that doesn't have it legal yet, they're using it to make fucking money by busting people with this plant that's beneficial to people. And yeah. it, how you can feel good about yourself for doing that, I do not fucking know. So how you can feel good about yourself <laughs> for busting people for that. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, weed is not a crime against a person. No. It's not like you're raping somebody. No, you're certainly not. Somebody. It's, it's totally not in the same realm of major hardcore crime. Exactly. And it's just, I can't wait. I mean, I'm, I'm fucking impatient. And Wisconsin and Minnesota are going to be the last two motherfucking states. I know it. I don't know. I mean, you know, there's... I know there's... it for sure. No, I do know this. Because they're lame. Wisconsin and Minnesota, fucking lame. They love their fucking cops. They love fucking busting people to make money on <laughs> Instead of, let's make some money for our state. Let's look at Colorado. Right. What is Colorado's problem right now? They have too much money. Oh, I wish we had that fucking problem. <laughs> really? Yeah. Come on, yeah. assholes. Come on, idiots. I can't uh, wait. I don't want to wait. I shouldn't be living in fear for consuming my medicine. You should not. Or, or having it, possessing it. Right. Oh my God. She has a plant. Yeah, yeah. What if anyway, I anyway, Kate, Kate, Kate says. Roses? <laughs> Wait. Oh I, my I, God! Bust me for having too many fucking roses, man. I got, I got, I got to ask the question. Kate, Kate says here that she uses potholders, and I'm wondering, uh, are you talking about papers, a pipe, a bong, a roach clip? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of, what kind of potholders are we talking about? <laughs> Yep, Florida and Texas will probably be the last two motherfucking holdups too. In Utah. It's like, come on, you motherfuckers. Don't don't, don't forget Revenue about Utah. Revenue bitches. <laughs> rather make pe rather persecute people and harm people and treat them like shit than actually help them. You know. We can <laughs> All of the above. I like that. <laughs> no, we're gonna fucking just keep fucking making our money up and fucking busting people for fucking weed. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, we're great. We're busting people for weed. Weed. Yeah, we're we're awesome. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. You got a dangerous drug off the street. No, you took medicine away from people. You fucking motherfucker. Yes, indeed. That's what you did. And even if it's meth or heroin, just if they. If those things were legal tomorrow, I would not run out and start doing those drugs. No. No, of course not. Because <laughs> I know they're they're stupid. They fuck you up. Uh, right. No, I, I you know, I, 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 I don't think anybody is, is going to go out there and start shooting heroin in their eye. Right. <laughs> Although they could. <laughs> Right. Oh it's, God. It's just I, I'm just tired of it. How many 420s have we done now? It's like well, not that many. Really, no, not further, not much further down the road. We, 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 don't, we, we don't do that many 420s because Fridays are not. I mean, 420 doesn't usually land on a Friday. So right, true. Um, you know, this year's special for whatever reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's because yeah. of uh, more 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 areas are, are getting uh, 420 friendly or. Uh, Whatever it is, I don't know, but it, see, it feels it feels more widely accepted now. It does, but I still, I, I don't, I don't know. The, the people that know better know. The people All that right. don't know better are still ignorant and dumb. Well, tell me this. I want to know what um, <laughs> do you? <laughs> Do you recall your first time ever smoking weed? Of course I do. All right. Tell me about it. 18 years old, senior in high school, two months away from graduation, at a fucking kegger party, um, go into a vehicle at the party, 
with my boyfriend and his friend, and they had a joint. They had a joint. Yep. And so we smoked a joint. And then they said, okay, it's your first time smoking a joint, so you have to do the ritual, the initiation ritual. I'm like, what's that? you got to saw the roach. I'm like, really? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Everyone knows the first time I smoke weed. I'm like, okay. So I did. Swallowed the roach. Yeah, yeah. They said that's what I was supposed to do. <laughs> they, they told me they were fucking with me. So, yep. Okay, well, then tell me this. Do you have a favorite memory out of all of the years that you've been smoking pot about a pot smoking time? <laughs> you want me to pick one? One, yeah, your favorite, you know, whatever one. I don't, there's not a favorite time. <laughs> All right. I just thought you maybe... I mean, I've been to so many festivals and stuff. I mean, you know, any time is a favorite time. Any time that I can partake. All right. I mean, there's been... Each time, Cowboy Parties or time, you know what I mean, <laughs> but. All right, cool. I mean, I, I know that once I smoked it and actually got high, that I was like, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> you know? I'm like, this will work for me. You know? Yeah, yeah, I know. I get it for sure. <laughs> like, a lot of people say, oh, you don't get high the, the high the first time you smoke weed. Yeah, you do. <laughs> a lot of people have said, oh, you don't really get a high every time you smoke weed. Like, I, I don't know, maybe. I mean, I, I smoked a little bit before that, that first joint, but that was basically, that's the first time I re remember actually really. Wait, that was, so that first time wasn't your first? That first time wasn't your first time? Oh, I might have tried some at a party or something before that, but I thought that was my first time. That's what I remember as being my first time. So. All right, all right. And so Cheech Marin's on the radio this morning and talking about his strain of weed that he has now called Cheech's Private Stash. Cool. And they have stores open already, and they're opening like five more. And they're opening one in Canada because Canada's going totally legal. Well, uh, they are, but they're not. They, Canada's got some really screwy rules, and it's... It's it's not good for the average person. Because the the guy said the you know the radio guy asked Cheech he's like well what what about Canada wasn't that hard to to get a store going there and everything you know Cause it's a different country or whatever and he's like no actually it wasn't that bad you know they're 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 poised to go legal countrywide within the year. Yeah, well, if you uh, follow Jody Emery and Mark Emery on, on the Twitter there. Uh, yeah, you'll know. see they're all kinds of pissed off of all the crap that's going on uh, uh, for, as, as far as the, the legalization goes. Oh, okay. And, uh, you know, they, they've been they've been the kings of weed for years up there. And, um... Yeah. And, and the the people like them are being shut out, basically. So, it, it, I mean, they've got some really stupid rules going on up there. That freaking Trudeau guy, he's a, he's a scumbag. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, so it's good that they're gonna go, uh, you know, nationwide legal, but it's just bad the way they're doing it. And and uh, so, like I said, for for the average, like if you wanted to, to open up your own little pot store, you'd have a hard, really hard time doing it. Um, he said it was harder in Massachusetts than it was in Canada. Well, and it probably is for somebody like him. Um, right. Right. Yeah. And uh, but apparently it's. Doing good. Well, he's got a built-in he's got a built-in uh, customer base, you know. Oh, definitely. The, the, the Cheech yeah. and Chong brand is huge after all these years, and <laughs> forty-eight years it's been. You know, all, all, even all all the kids, the, you know, the, the little punk millennials yep. know who Cheech and Chong are. Right. Yeah, so because of their parents, but of course, well, maybe you know who knows why, but they, it's it's still a thing, you know. Like the boys are like, oh, four twenty, that's like that's a holiday for high school. I'm like for high school. <laughs> like, what are you talking? About? Where do they get this shit? Like from their parents? I, they guess, must. 
Like, like I said, it's different. Oh, they got older brothers and sisters. I'm like, what? Okay, I guess. It's different this time around. It's different. I don't know why. It's different now. What's different? The whole 420 deal. It's it's changing. High schoolers celebrate 420. I'm like, what? High schoolers like weed. I I I, I, well, I, I know. I'm not against it. I mean, I, I know, speak from like, experience. The you know, boys will be like, oh, <laughs> yeah, we don't hang out. They do they do drugs. I'm like, what? Like weed? You know? I just like I'm like like what weed? Like it's not even good. You know, weed. Come on. Heroin and meth and shit like that. Now then I would you know I'd be like more concerned, but yeah. I'm like you know it's a fucking plant. You know, the boy, it's a drug. Yeah, well, caffeine's a fucking drug. Aspirin's a fucking drug. Sugar's a fucking drug. Fuck. Tell, 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 tell them, tell them, video games are a drug. No shit, <laughs> right? I mean, come on. It's like, everything can be a fucking drug. I mean, drugs. That's such a blanket statement. No, pot is a plant, like I just said. If I was driving around with a fucking truck full of fucking roses, no problem. Truck full of fucking weed, problem. Those are plants. All right, all right. Well, no, come on. Eh, hey, you know, life is a drug, it's exactly. Fucking ridiculous. And sooner or later, you're going to run out. <laughs> right. Uh, I mean, I just, I'm, I'm tired of it, the persecution, and just, you know, the fact that it's just, a, it's an oxymoron that we have hemp stores open in Wisconsin, and we don't have the medical part of that plant available to us. Yeah, that, that's the really nuts part. That, that, that is that's, totally nuts. That's, they, fu that's, that's fucked up. That you fuck. guys don't have that. But, uh, now, Bobby Bain, Bobby Bain over on the uh, Freedoms Network posted us this link, and I've been seeing some stuff about it. I, I, I haven't read the story, but here's Bobby Bain's, the title to Bobby Bain's link there. Marijuana industry poised for supercharged growth Thanks to President Trump. What? I shit you not. He's not pro pot, is he? Well, apparently he's he's doing uh, some things to make like Jeff Sessions shut the hell up about going after uh, states that have made uh, pot legal. Um, well, let me see what it says here. America's fastest growing marijuana industry appears to be fastest growing marijuana industry. What kind of it doesn't make sense. Yeah, that's weird. Anyway, appears to be poised for supercharged growth after winning what cannabis entrepreneurs see as approval from the Trump administration to forge ahead. The legal marijuana market is already growing exponentially despite the fears of a federal crackdown under Trump and Atten Attorney General Jeff Sessions. But Trump signals that he'll respect state legislation may swing open the floodgates, reassuring traditional investors, uh, entrepreneurs, and local lawmakers that it's okay to jump in. So I'll let you read the rest if you're really interested in reading about Trumpy. No. But um, <laughs> the thing is, I, I, don't, I don't really care where it comes from, you know. Um, if, if, they're, if they're going to uh, do stuff to make it where... Where, where where people can pass these uh, laws and and have them uh, approved, I'm good with it. I, I don't I don't care if it's Trump or if it's Clinton uh, or whoever it may may be. Just get rid of these laws, deregulate it, which is what I say, deregulate it. Uh, right. An apple could be well. An apple. Have you ever smoked pot through an apple? Um. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> Can, aluminum can, which is not a good... That's totally terrible. To do. Yeah, but in a pinch, you know. Um, right, you got it. I mean, it's not going to kill you one time. <laughs> <laughs> might kill some brain cells, but you're All smoking right. weed, so there you go. Yeah. Kind of evens itself out. Yeah, whatever. Right. Yeah, the, the weed will grow the brain cells back. So. Brain cells, right. <laughs> anyway, so uh, like I said, I don't, I don't care where it comes from as long as they back off. And, they, and if you want to walk around with ten pounds of weed in your backpack, then that's fine. Yeah, I don't think uh, it'd be a pretty big backpack. Well, I, uh, whatever. That'd be a lot. <laughs> that'd, that'd be like a lot to be walking around with. It could be, it could be highly okay. compressed. 
Uh, whatever. I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay, two pounds. How about that? All right, there you go. Okay. That's more believable. Uh, and it should be fine. It should just be like anything else. It should just be fine. You know. Well, I know that in the Obama White House, they smoked a lot of fun weed. Well, they were doing all kinds of weird stuff. Of they they, they were mean, doing. They were doing. I don't know what he does. I think he's a sex addict. They did all, all kinds of weird. He finds flux all day instead of smoking weed. So you know. You could do both. It, yeah, it's probably both. You know, but he's probably. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure he's a sex addict. So, um, yeah. All right, let's, let's let's get back to some tunes here. <laughs> all right. Oh man. <laughs> This, this is a drug. It can be. They, I've heard. I don't think it truly is, but people say that like a joke. You know. It's a, there's a song about it. Is there? Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Anyway, this is uh, for those of you unfamiliar, the fraternity of man. That joint, my friend, pass it over to me. Yeah, man, yeah, man, Bob Marley. Yeah, got ya. Uh, Chloe request there, a little Chloe request for us all, little Bob Marley. Gotta love that. All right, before that, we had David Peel and the Lower East Side with I Like Marijuana, recorded live on the streets of New York City. Back in 1968, and we kicked it, kicked it off with the fraternity of a man. Uh, don't bogart that joint, my friend. No, no. Pass it over to me. <laughs> right. Yeah, Keep it going. Don't be so. Don't be bogarting. <laughs> oh. I tell you. <laughs> I was surprised there wasn't much going on here in Eau Claire for 420. Really? Tomorrow night there is, but not the four, it's not a 420 thing. But um, I was just surprised there wasn't more going on. Yeah, well, it's a college town. You would think there'd be some... Right. Some something. I mean... I, I, I don't know what, but some something. Maybe I should organize something for next year. Sure, why not? Concert or something. Make sure we do it right. Yeah. Do it up right, man. That's right, man. So anyway, um, the boys are talking to me about Coachella. Okay. What Coachella is that music festival. Yeah, no, I've... Uh, Cali, um, where all these rich fucking people go to it, it's like not a regular hippie festival. Like, they try to act like it is, but it isn't. And the boys are like, you wouldn't like getting the music playing there. I'm like, you're right. No, you I would. Mean, you would. I, oh, I, uh, I, I Beyonce? No. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's see if I got... I think I, think I put something in the list here from this year's Coachella. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, I'll look it up and see who's there. <laughs> I'm telling you. It was, it was uh, Gre Greta Van Fleet played uh, there. In, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, here it is, Black Smoke Rising, live from Coachella. That's, uh, I'll put this in the next. Okay. I'll put this. Oh, that's, 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 almost a, that's almost a getting high song. Oh, my God. Well, they have, like, an alphabetical list of the artists. Yeah. Oh, uh, so it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, no, there was a lot of good bands there. Coachella. Alice in Wonderland played in it. They, they've, they've, who? Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. I, oh, you, I, oh, you're not Carolyn in Wonderland. <laughs> Maybe this is her kid. Uh, probably not. <laughs> probably not. But Wonderland, that's not a common last. Is, so far, I have not seen anybody that I know. Oh, oh, her, na her, her name is Allison. Is that what you're telling me? Yes. Allison Wonderland. Okay, she she made that name up. <laughs> uh, oh, 
Oh, yeah, duh. Well, that was, that I, was uh, Carolyn may have annoying. also. I don't know if Carolyn's Wonderland is that. I don't. That's probably not her real name. Um. Cardi B, I know who she is, but she's like not my kind of music. That that's like a hip hop or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. So far, I have not seen. Oh, David Byrne. Okay, David Byrne. From the Talking Heads. Yep. Okay. And then Devo, but it's D E E V O. That's not the same Devo. No, that would not be the same Devo. No. I don't know any of these people. Oh, Eminem. Okay, I know who Eminem is. And, oh, he's that. Yeah, he's the white rapper. <laughs> oh, first aid kit. That's the one that, that Ben likes. <coughs> who? So I, I, they don't do it for me. Okay. First uh, aid kit? That's the name of the band? First aid kit? Yeah. Brother Van Fleet. Okay, I see them. Now, who is that now? They, they're, they're an excellent young rock band. They sound like Led Zeppelin, kind of. Oh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. We played them on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, I would see them. Let's see who else. Yeah, no, there, I'm sure there'd be plenty of music there that you would like. Maybe. Jamiroquai. I would like that. Jamiroquai. I don't, I don't know oh. who they are. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, I like I've seen, I've heard of them. So, it sounds like a kid's band. It's not, well, they're, they're really good, actually. <laughs> Jamiroquai. All right. Let's see. Keep going through the list. I've only named a few that I know. All right. Well, that's, that's fine. I'm just saying there'd be some music there that you would like. It'd be, Probably. Uh, it, it may not be, uh, uh, you, you know. A, but a, it's the crowd, and it's just a bunch of rich California people. Oh, well, yeah. Well. You know. Just not, <laughs> not my deal. Okay, cool. Good I mean, enough. but it'll be on this weekend live. You guys. Oh, oh, here we go. oh, it's oh, still Marley. going. Skip Marley. Who Marley? Which Marley? Skip. I don't know who that is. It must be a kid. Oh yeah, or a cousin or oh. something. Who knows? Yeah. Huh. Well. If he's got the Mar if, he, if if he's got the Marley Jean, then right, you might as well. The War on Drugs. I've heard of that band before. Yeah, I think I heard. I think I listened to a song by them. Yeah. Yeah. That's about it, though. I've gone through the whole list now. All right. So I went A to Z. What? You have a link for that? Oh yeah. Oh shit! I just told. I'll just go to history. Yeah, because there might be some bands there that I know that you don't know. Okay. Well, check it out. <laughs> uh, I know, I know. Copy it and paste it. Alrighty. <laughs> Peace 420. Who that? I, I don't know who Peace 420 is. All right, let's let's just take a look here at this Coachella lineup, artist alphabetical, and uh, see. I I I, I, didn't, I thought it was just I didn't know it was uh, a multiple week thing. It's See, a, per, a perfect there. circle. They're good. I, I've listened to See, some. Yeah, that rings a bell. Yeah, no, they're good. I, I've I, uh, played some of their stuff. Uh, they rock? From, from, yeah, yeah, they're rock. Uh, let me see here. Uh, You're not going to know hardly any of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> same with me. <laughs> some guy's name is Belly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, a lot of these bands, they get such weird names nowadays. Right. You know, <laughs> see, I don't know. And it, these are all there. There is like a lot of bands probably, that I've never heard of. Probably, probably a lot of hip hop. A lot of hip hop. Stuff, you know. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of hip hop. And a lot of electronica, too. Oh, yeah. I would yeah. guess. Yep. House music or whatever. Yep, and rap, you know, because um, Eminem's there. We know that's rap. Yeah. Cardi B, she's like rap slash hip hop. I would not go to see her. I just have no desire. I would have no desire to see that performance. Yeah, I, it's interesting to me that why would um, 
Who's this Gene Michael Jar guy? He's, he's like some kind of jazz idiot. Such <laughs> a J? Huh? Such the J? Yeah, Gene Michael Jar. M and D's. Where's E F? I think he's a jazz bozo. <laughs>
A maybe. I can't even. I can't do it. I'm just. Oh, I threw up on the belt on the on the boat. I can't no. even do a British accent very well. Yeah, seasickness is is kind of a bitch. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah, that would not be good. You need to take Dramamine. Uh, take Dramamine. Yeah. Find out a natural herb that you can take to combat that. Yeah. Yeah, right. But yeah, so some people can't handle that. Yeah, I don't get like that on boats, but I know a lot of people do. Fishing's fun. I love to fish. Man. It's so fun. Yeah, fishing's great. Yeah, it's fun, dude. It's a good fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> if you've never done it, you should do it well, at least once. Yeah, I, I've been out on at many. Least one time. I, I've been out on many deep sea boats, but I never fished out there. Um, yeah. But. Uh, you know, uh, whale whale watching and stuff like that. Right. No, that would be, it's a blast. No, oh, it's great. But uh, I did a lot of a lot of you know lake fishing, stream fishing. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, freshwater stuff. But uh, yeah, I never did right, ocean. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've I've done a lot of fishing out of a boat. It's pretty fucking fun, man. It's an adventure every time you go. Oh yeah. <laughs> every time. <laughs> <laughs> It's an adventure. Well, it's, it's, it's different for you up there, you know. You, you guys got, you guys got what the wild fish with the big old teeth. Oh yeah, we got muskies, northerns. And, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just using used fishing for you know, trout and bass and catfish right. and stuff right. that you catch in a lake in a stream. Not yeah. not not your kind of lakes. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, we're known for that stuff up here. <laughs> I did you get do, some good fucking fishing up here. I, I, I did do a lot of crawdad catching, but that, that wasn't really fishing, I wouldn't crawdad. say. <laughs> no, not really. That's more like catching. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you could, yeah. I yeah. went cream fish fishing and crab fishing down in South Carolina. Oh, oh, I know with something. The old-fashioned way <laughs> with the chicken on the stick on the fucking string. You ever went crab fishing before? No, 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 no. Really? The old-fashioned way is you put a piece of raw chicken on the end of a fucking string, you tie it to a stick, you just throw that out, you go out a little bit into the, not far out, you know, you're still on the shoreline or whatever, you just throw that out in the water and the crab comes up and grabs it, you just reel them in. Well, that's the same, same, same way with the, same, same, same thing with the, with the crawdad, except you just like yep. a little piece of meat, you know, on the end of a string and, yep, yep. yeah, yeah, you just, yeah, they, they, they yep. just, Grab on, they want it, and, and, and we uh, also went shrimping, and we had to go in this fucking, you know, they have all these waterways and you know stuff in there, you know, inlands. Yeah. In the waterways or whatever, and so you go out and you you got to put boots on and shit because you you have to go out kind of in the water to do shrimping with a net, you know, with the nets, the handheld ones like the big ones like with the big sticks. Right. Uh, that was interesting. That was fun. For one day, I mean, I wouldn't want to do it every day for my lifetime, you know, as a life is. Uh, yeah, yeah, you ever heard of a, a grunion? Yep. Okay, we we used to go out grunion, grunion hunting, they call it. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, you have to go, like, late at night when the moon is up and the moon is full. Yep. And uh, so you go out there uh, at the beach. They're uh, crabs, right? No, no, they're fish. They're fish. Oh, they're fish. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, and they come in. I, I just, I, yeah. They they come in at regular times. You always know when when the grunion run is uh, uh, down there because they have it on the radio. And, and so you go down there and it's like midnight or whatever. When whenever the the moon's at the right place there and and the tide's coming in and uh, you you put a bucket down there on the sand and, and then you and you stand with your like halfway up to, up to the leg in the water. And, and and you wait because they all come flying in on 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 the, on the waves. Yeah, I've, I've and then heard they, about And then they're flopping yeah. around on on the on the beach there, and you run up and you yeah, you yeah. grab you grabbing all these grunts and you throw them in the bucket and. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be fun as hell. Oh, it was great, and you you could eat them too. We we you know cook them up. Yeah, you, you you get them to eat them. You're not just catching them for fun. You're you're actually going to eat these. Things. Yeah, no, and I, yeah. I, I guess they were coming up to spawn or whatever. I don't know what the hell they were well, doing. Well, yeah, that's funny. And uh, so yeah, that was that was a great time back in the old that days. That would be fun. Well, up here we got the uh, what do they call it? I can't think of them. They get them early on. 
They're small. Smelt. Smelt. Smelt run. They have the smelt run, and then they go up there and they catch a bunch of these smelt. They have a big old like a feast or something, you know. And that's like that's like, kind of like a carp or something. Yeah, it's kind of like a. It's they're small. They're you know they're smaller, but there's a certain time of year, like I think it's about this time of year that they they call it a smelt run. You go up there and that's for people that really like fish a lot. Like I would not care for. You know what I mean? They're so yeah. small that you have to eat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some people really like them, but they smoke them or whatever. You know what I mean? But anyway, here's an article. I didn't read it, but whatever. Um, it, it's it's about that. Grunions only run, yeah, certain times of the year, and right. <laughs> you've only got a, a, a certain few hours that you can go out there and do it. You can't can pick up your grunions, and uh, it's just fun stuff. That's all. Um, and here I'm, yeah, and I watched this movie, and I was thinking about. Noodling, you know what that is, right? Noodling, that sounds sexual to me. Have you ever? Hey, seen baby, want a noodle? No. <laughs> that's where you go and you catch a freaking catfish with your bare hands. Oh, that sounds dangerous. It's noodling. And if you you gotta look it up, Grim, sometime. Watch someone do this. It's fuck. I would not want to do it. These guys, you gotta go down there. You gotta get lay down in the mud and shit. Yeah. And you know, and you, it, there's something about it that's like, you know, a skill. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a skill thing. Yeah, For it, one thing, you got to be willing to fucking do it, you know? It sounds sexual. I don't know. It noodling. does sound sexual, but it's not. It's called noodling. <laughs> Vinny, back me up here. Come on, Vinny. You've heard of it. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Vinny, you know what I'm talking about. Vinny, Vinny, like you been, <laughs> Vinny, you've been noodling with Moose Girl. <laughs> not the same kind you're thinking of, Grip. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Really? I gotta look it up on a video or something. All right, you do that. I'm gonna play some music. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. Yeah. We'll come no, back. You know, I should, probably should do noodling as my search. <laughs> it's it. Thing, because you know, they're, no, they brought up the right thing. It oh, okay, up right okay. Thing. Well, what do you, you got? So, the story? No, I don't have a story oh, yet. Okay. I, I'm, it's just videos. Here, right. I'll give you a video. <laughs> I'll link it right now. You can play the video. All right, let's see what we got here. Hang on a second. This is hillbilly hand fishing. Hillbilly, <laughs> and, <laughs> and and grunion, grunion runs are 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 California beach boy fishing. Okay, there you go. I haven't watched it yet. But... Strudel my noodle. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Just had to go there. <laughs> Just had to go there. All right, let's see what we got here on this here. <laughs> Strudeling, hillbilly hand fishing. That 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 yeah, sounds like a different. Yeah, it's hillbilly hand fishing. That, that that sounds like a different kind of sexual there. Yeah, it does. Totally <laughs> different. <laughs> the waves are wearing Tony out. Oh my God, it's going. <laughs> wow, that's different. Um, <laughs> that's def. <laughs> That's definitely not uh, like grunion running. Uh, grunions are small. They you hold them in your hand. They're they're right, right. You know, a foot or less. Um, but usually it's just one person. You don't get one that's seventy pounds. You're going after <laughs> smaller ones than that. But Patty that, trout. Yeah, that's what they do. Uh, <laughs> they <that's>, fishing. <laughs> that's that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Learn something new every day, Grim. I tell you, man, that's a... Uh... Every day. <laughs> <laughs> every God. day. Uh, Strudeling and noodling. All right, let's, let's, yeah, hear some your, yeah. let's hear some more music here. All right, let's right do that. Now, happy this, 420, everyone. Yeah, happy 420. This first track coming up to you live from Coachella on April 13th, a week ago today. Um, where'd, my, where'd my camera go? lost my camera. All right. <laughs> there we go. This is uh, Greta Van Fleet with Black Smoke Rising. Six Smile by John Prine from last year, 
live from last year. That's a Miss Kate request. Very good stuff. Uh, before that, Brewer and Shipley doing a one at Toke over the line. Now, who knew Chloe was a Jesus freak? We didn't know that, but now we, we learn that Chloe is a Jesus freak. And we kicked it off there with uh, Greta, Greta Van Fleet uh, doing a Black Smoke Rising from uh, last Friday night live at Coachella. So, uh, yeah, good good tunes all across the board there. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Fun stuff. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, fun stuff. Yes, indeed. Now, we're going to learn what noodling, noodling was. Now, yeah, I, you know, I, I, and I, I still I, I can't quite get over that. Uh, them people catching that big old catfish with their hands there like that. Right. Crazy, cra crazy hillbillies. They go down the mud like that, so they like kind of embed themselves <laughs> in the mud, you know? You kind of have to pull them out of there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's a lot of catfish. That's, somebody's going to do something good eating there. All right, so this is uh, this is just something just to fucking talk about. It's nothing related to anything, <laughs> really. But it's really fucking cool, I think. I think this is really fucking cool. All right. Um, autistic boy who build, built the world's largest Lego Titanic replica made from 56,000 bricks and 26 feet long, reveals how it has helped him deal with his condition as it goes on display. And I'll show you the link so you can post a picture of it, friend. It's fucking cool. Made entirely out of Legos. Replica. And he, his grandfather or whatever is an engineer, so they were able to do it to scale. Okay. You know, so it's at an actual replica. It's not, you know what I mean? It's the real deal here. I mean, this thing's crazy. Crazy. Matt, Matt made the comment, that's got to be worth a lot of money. Yeah, because Legos are really expensive. Right, right. But it says that he did get donations from his family and friends to do to, so he could complete this project. Yep, that's a big-ass, big-ass Lego toy. It's fucking cool. Look yeah. at that thing. Yeah. That it's, is cool, I think. I mean... I, I don't think that would float, no. <laughs> no, that would not float. That would be way too heavy. All right. But, you know, it's great. It's just a feel-good story. You know what I mean? It's just a story. Like I said, it's not nothing. It's just a story. I think it's really cool. My son's really into Legos. He's got all these Lego sets that he has built and he's 17 and he's still into them, you know? So, yeah. You know, people have made cars out of Legos. I mean, you know? Sure. Yeah, it's pretty cool, I think. So, right. um, just, I had that bookmarked, so I just wanted to share that. No, that's cool. That's cool. Without now, I do have this one, which is kind of cool. I thought it was funny, and, I mean, seriously, last weekend was weird. Okay, we had a fucking blizzard, and I know I'm not alone in this, because Frumpy had the same fucking shit weather going on as I did in Wisconsin, but Minnesota, Wisconsin, totally got hammered with a fucking April blizzard. 10 to 13 inches of snow most people got. <laughs> Right. And it's like, are you freaking kidding me? I mean, people made the best of it. You know, we're 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 hardy people. We're used to this kind of shit. This kind of fucking stuff can happen here. When we live when you live in this climate, it can happen. So anyway, this lady made a video of her diving into the fucking snow. And I think it's really funny because they posted this last weekend or whatever when the snowstorm was going on. Right. Or they posted it Monday, but it snowed all weekend, literally, for three days straight. And it wasn't just, like, a white snow, a dusting. It was a freaking blizzard. All right? I mean, Saturday night, the wind was totally howling. It was <laughs> so windy 
It was crazy. It was just nuts. The, the snow was literally going fucking sideways, like almost directly side. You know, it was just, and it was really weird because the storm just sat there for like three freaking days. It just kept turning. And Frumpy, who lives in Toronto, he was getting like totally shit weather. Like we were just getting like at first it started off with light rain, <laughs> then it was like half snow, half ice, and then it was uh, all over snow. But yeah, Frumpy cool. had like this mixture going on. A freezing rain mixed with snow and sleet, and like for three days straight, the radar did not change. The storm was just getting fed up from the Gulf of Mexico, mm -hmm. so like the East Coast was getting, or like states like Kentucky, Tennessee, they were getting rain from the same storm that we were getting the freaking blizzard from. Right. It was crazy. It was nuts. Like, that doesn't happen very often. That They even said it was a historic storm. Like, it set a record for the most snow in the city of Minneapolis. Right. It set a record. For a recorded record. You know what I mean? But then yeah. I was reading a story about 1881, and okay. Laurel Ingalls Wilder wrote a book in her series called The Long Winter. Right. And it was about this winter in 1881 that they actually got 11 feet of snow total. Through from from October through April, but that's a lot of freaking snow, and it stuck around. I mean, it was cold. It was like, I mean, that's insane. Like the trains could not get through. Because back then, the, the tra it was trains, you know. Yeah. And uh, it was just crazy. So if you think about that, I guess we're pretty lucky, you know. Right. Right. Yeah. And no one can say that winters are getting worse because. In 1881, they had 11 feet of freaking snow on the ground. By the end of, in, by April, they had 11 feet of snow. Yeah. On the ground. That's crazy. And that's back in 1881, where they didn't have the same kind of clothing that we do now, the same kind of technology with snowblowers and shovels even. And You know what I mean? It was like a hardship. Like, people died. Sure. Oh, yeah. He missed the link. I gave it to him. Mechanic. I'll link it in. I, I, did. I gave it to him. Don't worry about oh, it. You did. Okay, cool. thank you. Yeah, some kid built a replica scale model of the Titanic out of Legos. So, we're right. It's kind of a feel-good story. You know, it's kind of a story I noticed because I have a son that's really into Legos, too, and um, I think that's really cool for this kid. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put his mind to it, decided he wanted to do it, and made it happen. Oh, it's great. It's great stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Right. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. Since Hans is here, I got this story. Did you, did you pitch, post that picture that lady diving in the fucking I, I did. I showed the video. Like oh, five, you did? Oh, okay, good. Like I, five, didn't, I wasn't on the channel when you... Oh, yeah. I, I showed that. the video like five times there. Yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hans, if you're tuned in, uh, you must be because you heard about the, uh, the the Legos. So this story is for you because I think... I think... <laughs> I think you'll be first in line every night on this. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is, from, from from the New York Post. Theater goers get free admission to Hitler play by wearing swastikas. <laughs> what? Say what? I thought, oh my God, this is in New York. I, I, I thought, this is in New York because it's New York Post, you know. And, and they got a picture, of, or, or one of the guys in, in the photo looks like uh, Trump. Uh, anyway, so no, it's not in New York. It's in Berlin, of all places. Really? Yeah, it says the theater okay. in southern Germany is proceeding with plans to open a satirical play today about Adolf Hitler's youth, in which some of the patrons will be wearing swastika armbands, despite objections and legal complaints. The Comstans Theater production of George Tabori's Mein Kampf opens Friday night for a month-long wow. run. Uh, though named after Hitler's infamous anti-Semitic manifesto, which I'm not sure that's actu accurate or not, but uh, the, the play tells a fictional story of how a young Hitler is befriended 
by in, in Vienna by a Jewish man who takes pity on him for his futile pursuit of a career as an artist and puts him on his political path, as well as helping him with his hairstyle. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No <laughs> pun intended. No pun intended. It's something we Midwesterners say. <laughs> if you get, if you, if, so if you wear a swastika armband... Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to wear a fucking swastika on my fucking... So be miserable to everybody. No, if I was into that, I'd be getting a swastika tattoo on my fucking ass cheek. But not everybody would fucking see it. Anyway, if I was into that, which I'm not. A a anyway, take a, take a look at the, at the at the picture there in this article. Tell me if that guy that's sitting there at the desk don't look like Donald Trump. <laughs> Are you posting it right now? I, I just posted the link there. Yeah. Uh, oh, the link. Yeah, they got they got uh, I don't know three guys sitting there, and the one guy looks like Trump. Um, <laughs> he, I clicked it. <laughs> Water Fox isn't working very well for me. I don't know what's up. What the... Oh. I don't know. It's weird. Alright, well, well, whatever. Um... Eh, don't matter right now. <laughs> okay, now it's coming up twice, because I clicked it twice. Oh, uh, so you just got some, some, some delay going on there. Yeah, you, you, no, you only got, you only oh got... my god. Yeah, that, well, he's purposely meant to look like him, I think. Probably. Do a, do a Hitler yeah, play. Yeah, that's going to be on purpose. Do, do a Hitler play and make a guy look like Trump. It's a play. So, yeah, that guy's purposely <laughs> made to look like uh, Trump. Trumpler. 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 Yeah, there you go. Trumpler. <laughs> and, you know, the boys are like, what do you do exactly watch oh, that fighting Hitler thing? Which is actually a very informative show. I mean, but it's, it's a show, so, like, they do it in segments. It's just like, come on, just get to the fucking chase already, right? You know? Yeah. But they go to all these places, you know, you know, in Argentina and everything, and they, they do give you some compelling, because there was like a Nazi group in Argentina. Oh, right? sure, so, big you know one. What I mean? Yeah, yeah, huge. The big one, and they had like a whole city and everything, you know what I mean? They had buildings, and they had, you know, it was a, it was a organized deal, you know? Right. And so they're pretty sure, and I'm pretty sure, that Hitler, that's where Hitler went, ended up. He ended up married you know, being with a woman and fathering children. Yeah. You know, that's, the, you know, Argentinian children, because the woman he was with was not German. Right, that's, of course. That's, that's what they figured. Yeah. And I believe that, because the boys are like, what do you think happened? I'm like, for one thing, he did not commit suicide. Maybe they killed Eva Brown, but they did not fucking t kill Hitler. And they, he did not commit suicide with her. That the story is bullshit. Hitler got fucking escaped out to Argentina. Sure. A couple other people that he picked that wanted he wanted to go there with him. Goring, maybe I think was one. No. Whatever. The, the one that those, off you know, his top guys, what? the ones that that weren't picked up by paperclip. Yeah, I think it was Goring, and there was another one. Yeah. But anyway, the other one, one of them, committed suicide. They killed they, him and his wife. Killed their kids, and they killed themselves. Rom Rommel? Rommel? Rommel, I think it was, that did De that. The Desert Fox guy? Yep, they killed, he, he, well, that's the story. They said that he, they killed their family and then they killed, I, they were, I'm sure they were murdered, you know. Yeah. They were murdered by the SS or whatever. Sure. But, no way did Hitler commit suicide. The, the real story is not the story. He did go seek asylum in Argentina because the Nazis had a compound there. Right. They basically had a fucking city there. You know? Yeah, right, sure. And they paid off the locals to fucking not say shit. Oh, yeah. They paid them off and they threatened murder, um, you know, if they fucking talked. Because it wasn't, it wasn't secluded, too. It wasn't like in Rio, you know what I mean? It was secluded. It was fucking secluded where they were at, in the mountains. Wait, wait, wait. Read Hans, Hans's uh, comment here. It says, if the play showed how a Jewish man had molested Hitler when he was in Vienna, it would explain a lot. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, really? it, it, is a, it is a parody play, so... Um, right. But, but it wouldn't also wouldn't surprise me. I mean, Vienna's a twisted city. Yeah, uh, no shit. And uh, so, yeah, I, 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 could, I could see something like that going on. Um. <laughs> well, I could. 
I mean, they were weird. Hitler was weird. He had a lot of fetishes and shit. He was a fucking really weird dude. He really was. He was like a really weirdo. Yeah, Real weirdo. Yeah, yeah, he was. He really was. He was sick. He was totally sick in the head. No doubt. No There's doubt. no doubt about it. Yeah. He was a sick man. And all the other people, like his close-ups, like you said, his higher-ups, Rommel and fucking, uh, what his do we, generals, we say? Who, whoever his Yori. generals were, yeah. Yeah, and the uh, Gary and the other one, they're fucking evil fucks. And nothing's going to convince me otherwise, because they're mentally fucking ill. <laughs> Frumpy, you're... <laughs> and Gable, oh, it was it Gables? Oh, okay. Gerbils, Gerbils. It's, it's, so it's, Ronald it's, fucking made it. He fucking lived. He fucking went. He got asylum, too. He got asylum. And some of them got asylum in the U.S. And most people be like, no, no, that's not true. You know, but LBJ or whatever, or not LBJ, FDR, <laughs> he would not allow a, a whole shipment of fucking Jewish people trying to get out of there. He wouldn't let them in to the U.S. Good. He said, no fucking way. Good. Who but needs yet, them? then World War II ends, and we give asylum to all these fucking Nazis. Like, are you fucking kidding me? No, they, Look they it want... up if you don't fucking believe me. It's fucking true. They wanted that science. They fucking... Well, FDR yeah. didn't want to save fucking people from the concentration camp. No, they not want nothing to do with that. No. Yeah, he well, wanted to fucking have something to do with the goddamn giving fucking Nazis asylum in this country, though. Well, they, well they, that, they were going. That doesn't turn your head. I don't know what fucking will. They they were basically going off to the highest bidder. Russia got a bunch of them too. Right. You know. But no, we actually FDR turned them down and said no. They they oh, can't. Oh yeah. Come well, in. who needs who needs the military guys? They didn't want them. All they wanted was the scientists. Right. They got Werner von Braun, total Nazi. They got Schwarzenegger's <laughs> dad or whatever. He was a fucking Nazi. Come on, do the fucking math, people. I need history lessons? Hello? Have I said anything <laughs> untrue yet, uh, Grim? Um, no, well, not untrue, but, I mean, well, like he, Hans pointed out, Rommel was murdered by the SS. Um, well, I'm sure, like I said, they didn't really off themselves. They fucking were murdered. Like the Gebel family or whatever. Yeah. They were fucking killed. They were. They didn't do it themselves. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Rommel was a hero. I don't need history lessons. I mean, I might not be exact on my facts, but I know the gist of it. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> enough of that Nazi shit. I was just bringing it up because of the funny play. <laughs> I mean, the, no, the funny, see, the funny gimmick. Uh, the, <laughs> in 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 <laughs> in Germany, wearing swastika armbands to, to get free, you know, to get uh, free admission to the stupid play. It, it just seems a little bit bizarre. Because I can't remember which generals were murdered and which generals got asylum doesn't mean that I don't know my fucking history. Dude. She knows. Because she knows. I don't want to know any of them. They were all fucking Nazis and they were all fucking evil and fucked up in the head. There you go. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Speaking of Nazis and fucked up in the head. Yeah. <laughs> United States is losing edge in AI to China says Google's Schmidt. <laughs> so now, the Pentagon, it says now, which I'm sure this is already well in place, but whatever. Uh, Pentagon Developing Artificial Intelligence Center. Just, they're just developing it? Like they don't already have a huge one? Like, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah, just developing. Yeah. yeah. So the, fucking shit. The, the, the Pentagon is working on a plan uh, to stand up an artificial intelligence center in order to streamline department's myriad AI programs. Well, so, I love that word, streamline. Yeah, well, they have all kinds of these various AI programs, and they're, and they're trying to of get them they get them all under one one control unit. It says the right. idea the idea comes as defense officials are increasingly concerned about China's investments in AI capabilities. They have now embraced by been embraced by both Secretary of Defense Mattis and Michael Griffin, uh, Under Secretary of Defense for Research and Engineering. Um, he says, "I'm working right now with folks on my staff to answer questions like, who should lead it? Where should it be? Uh, I, I just have one word for you on this, um, folks. There, 
Pentagon, wherever you may be, Google. Um, and that word is Skynet. <laughs> yeah, fuck. <laughs> For those of you unfamiliar with Skynet, <laughs> you may want to watch a movie from 1984 called The Terminator. <laughs> It talked all about Skynet. But in conjunction with that story, uh, Frumpy earlier today posted uh, up this link. Um, oh, where did I do it? It's right here somewhere. Uh, there it is. Um, I posted up this link earlier today from blacklistednews.com. Government accidentally sends file on... Remote mind control methods to a journalist. So this journalist had, had uh, did an FOIA uh, request and for for some information um, about uh, Antifa and whatever people groups like that. And along with his package, <laughs> his packet, <laughs> he got this uh, document about mind control, psychotronic weapons. You've heard of those, haven't you, Moose? Great. Oh, fuck yeah. They've been using them for a long time. <laughs> That's nothing new to me. They've been using them for a while. So here it is. When journalist Curtis William, Waltman, Williams? No, Waltman, filed a Freedom of Information Act request with the Washington State Fusion Center, which is an evil-sounding thing by itself, uh, yeah, part, of, evil. part, of, part of DHS, to obtain information about anti-FA and white supremacist groups, he got more information than he was looking for. He also accidentally received a mysterious file on psychoelectric weapons, a.k.a. psychotronic weapons, with the label EM effects on the human body. Uh, the file included methods of remote mind control, uh, and, it, and it shows the various... Uh, look, very they, this, they haven't been doing this shit already. What? So now you know that they want... They're owning up to it now. They're just exposing No, no, no. They, didn't, they did not mean for this document to go out with that. This document... Really? Uh, this document that they sent him with that um, has no government markings on it whatsoever. But it came okay. in their... But it came in their package. Um. Well, there you go. <laughs> so... There you go. <laughs> it, it, and, uh, yeah, I've been trying to get people to uh, pay attention for a long time to the psychotronic weapons. And, uh, well, most people just, oh, come on now. They, they, they just pull it out. They, 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 because you, you, you saw the movie uh, Conspiracy Theory, right? Yeah. With Mel Gibson and, and that chick. Yep, yep, yep. Who's that chick? Um, uh, fuck. The cute chick. I, I forget her name. Cute, it, young? Well, sort of. Did she play Hermione in The Lord of the Rings? No, 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 no. It was uh, that, no. Conspiracy Theory. You, you know the movie. I'm not going to up right now. With Mel Gibson, and, and she's kind of like a kind of red-headed chick. Oh, Julia Roberts. Yeah, yeah, Julia Roberts, her. Um uh. <laughs> and it, and and what they were doing to him, um, they did a lot of it remotely. Yep. They did some of it directly, yep. but, uh, right. but they did a lot of it remotely. And, and he, everybody thought he was nuts. But as it turned out in the end, right. you know, and and, no one believed him. Right, and, and Frumpy, and, and I think some other point people have pointed out that it's good a good chance that chemtrails are, are part of the uh, thing to get yeah. the metals into you that that you need into you. Or that they want. Right, because they, they want, want to be able to you. control you right, or remotely. <laughs> uh! and, it, and it ties back, as Grammy was pointing out earlier, and, and as Gary Ellis pointed out as well, to the 5G stuff. Um, Vladimir Putin is Skynet, huh? Um, I, I, <laughs> oh, my God, where did you get this shit? Uh, uh, Hans just posted oh, a meme fucking there. Oh, God. Believe everything you fucking see. Yeah. 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 No. It's on the internet. It must be true. Right, Grammy? It's, it's a meme. Oh. <laughs> it's, for, it's for kicks. Oh, oh my God. But still. I, I, I don't. I don't. 
So anyway, you, have, you tie these things together, you know, and, and, and you kind of come to a story of you know, right. Yeah, easily. I mean, that's I've been saying that for a long time. If you want to like know really what's up, all you gotta do is scratch the surface just a little bit, and you'll find out. Yeah, and, 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 it's, you can't stop. That's the problem. It's all it's all stated parts of of things they said they wanted to do and and uh so um oh by the way, anybody that's never you seen that movie sucked in. Any, you anybody the surface, you get sucked in. Anybody that's never seen that movie, Conspiracy Theory, you definitely need to watch that, that one. Movie. That, definitely. That, <laughs> and that's good you could, that's a good uh date night movie or something, you know. Um the, but the one documentary that Gary L. did play, and this was a few years back now, like four or five, four years ago. I don't know, a long time ago. He played the movie live. He streamed it on his channel, um, JFKH911. Right. Everything is a rich man's trick. Right. If you have not seen that, you need to see that. You need to just watch that documentary. Just do it. Absolutely. Just, just do it. Grammy was talking about it on her show the other day, and you know her statement was, "If you can't, if you don't know what's up after watching that, you, you know, you still trust the government or whatever." I'm just, I'm just paraphrasing. Um, after watching that, then I don't know what you know. It's just like that. That's a mind blower. That so, yeah, some people can't be helped, you know, but that's all right. That's true. Yeah. Some people, they, yep, it's true, and I've accepted that fact. Yeah. I know that. You so you just move on. If, you, if you're talking to somebody and, and, and ain't nothing right, getting right, through, you just move along. Next person. Yeah. You know. If it's if it's even well, worth it, can. because what's the benefit? What, what's what's the what's the benefit? Um, of what? Of of waking people up. <laughs> there is none. There is. None. <laughs> you know. Oh, Schwarzenegger! Did someone say Skynet? I can't do a good Terminator impersonation. I can't talk like a British accent or Aussie accent. He's, but he's, I can still talk like the Terminator. He's he's from Austria, not Australia. Oh, Aust boss. Well, I know he is. His dad was a Nazi. That's why I'm sure. Jay well, he's Dredd a Nazi. Oh, Arnold! I bet you Jay Dredd adores Arnold Schwarzenegger. I bet you he looks up to him. Who? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Who looks up to him? Hans. Oh, Hans. Yeah, he's a fellow fucking Nazi. I, I loved a lot of Arnie's movies. There ain't no doubt about it. Oh, well, yeah. The Terminator's great movies, you know. Oh, well, yeah, sure. Off to the Vista, baby. <laughs> See, that's good impersonation. What you say, Graham? Come on. You just... Just oh, it. Per, uh, yeah, I, I thought I was talking just to Arnold. It. It's really not. I, I know. I, I, thought, I thought I was talking to Arnold. I'm not fooling myself. <laughs> I know it's bad. I'll be boss. That's not, like, you know, that's not, you know, is it? No, it's not good. <laughs> no, I, I, I All right, we're stuff, we're going to we're going to do we're going to do some tunes right here right now. <laughs> Happy four twenty, everyone. I hope you're all uh, just a little partaking, just a little comfortably numb. <laughs> Good. Isn't it good? That's the Beatles there for you. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that song's about weed, uh, but it is. <laughs> anyway, before that, we had Joe Cocker with Let's Go Get Stoned from Woodstock. And we kicked it off with a Chloe request there, Pink Floyd doing Comfortably Numb. Ah, uh, yes. Y'all comfortably yes, numb? Y'all comfortably numb? <laughs> and I... Um, told the kids, I'm like, they're like, are you doing your show tonight? I'm like, yeah. Like, oh. I'm like, it's going to be all songs about weed. Well, not all, but. Okay, not, no, not every single one, but mostly. <laughs> so it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, they, you know, they know. I, 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 they know. Let's just say that. But anyway. <laughs> Um, See, it's either 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 songs about weed or uh, or or songs or or songs by people that are high. <laughs> right. Think about that now. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm jealous, Anti Han. I mean, I want to go to Australia so bad. Like, so bad. That would be so amazing to go there, to that country, and just be there. <laughs> you know, just, oh, yeah. And, you know, I mean, it would just, it would be cool. I'd like to do all the tours, like Ayers Rock, you know, but, you know, it would just be cool. It would just be amazing. I love to travel, so, you know, it's, uh, it's been hard not to. That's why I do little mini festival traveling. Like, I go to my festival and stuff, you know what I mean? And so that kind of eases the fucking urge, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd like to go, uh, there's a haunted, uh, a bus station or a train station. They have there, I don't know, I saw a movie about it. Um. Oh, he's been, he lives in Australia. He's never been to Ayers Rock. What's that haunted? What's yeah, that? I don't know, uh, from being, you know, I want to <laughs> go everywhere. <laughs> I want to go so many places, but it's kind of hard to, like, decide, you know? What's that haunted uh, bus station or train station? I think it's a train station. Is it in Europe? Or? No, 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 in Australia. Oh. Then Sydney? No, I don't know. I forget what the name is. It was a movie about maybe, it, Maybe, you know, maybe Ampehan knows Find out, Anti-Hen. I saw the movie. It was pretty good. You live there, dude. How can oh, you yeah. not know this stuff? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. I took it out of my list. Cause that was Put good. another shrimp on the Barbie. Well, what's the... The haunted railroad station. <laughs> yeah, what's the haunted... Ha haunted... It's either a railroad station or... A, yeah, yeah, yeah. Train station. Haunted train station. <laughs> yeah. There's a movie about it. I saw it. It was good. It's a movie. <laughs> Is it in Australia for sure, Graham? Oh, absolutely. I've seen. I've seen. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. Yeah. I, 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 I well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> you want to have some homework here? <laughs> oh my God. All right. Well, I'll, I'll figure it out sometime and let you know. Yeah, but I would just love to go there just to say that I've been. You know, I, if I went there, I know I'd have to go there for at least two weeks. You can't just go there for like five days. You gotta go there for like two weeks. So you gotta, you might want to go to different parts of it. You know what I mean? And so you have to like plan. He doesn't know. Okay, that's all right, Auntie Han. <laughs> Don't mean to put you on the spot there, Aussie. Meat. <laughs> 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 I'm kidding. You. I'm kidding. You. Um. No, it would be, and I do want to go to Europe, too. I mean, the history there is amazing. I mean, I just want to go there, and see the thing with Europe is you have to decide what part of Europe you want to go to, because you can't do it all in one trip, you know? Well, you know, you gotta, like, it, it, it's, it's, <laughs> it's weird. I, I typed into my, my search engine here, Haunted Australia Train Station Movie. <laughs> yeah. And apparently, there's a lot of haunted train stations in Australia. Really? Yeah, the one page, 12 haunted train stations. That will, wow. uh, there's, there's all kinds of them down there, apparently. <laughs> Sid Sydney's most haunted <laughs> locations, 10 ha most haunted railway stations. Wow. Uh, oh. all, all kinds of different pages there. Stories about th about this place. Uh, oh, not this side. I haven't. Found, I didn't see. I didn't find Zachary the one I was. Fields. I didn't find. I didn't find the 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 one I was looking for. But um. <laughs> wow! It must be a thing. <laughs> I, 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 a thing down there. I would I'm never even think station. about. I would never even think about uh, a train. Yes, I am really isn't aware of this. <laughs> he lives there. <laughs> I, I would never even think about a, a train station being haunted. Oh, I would. I would. People, people used to, you know, especially a ghost that you're talking about way back in the day when train travel was more prevalent, in, in especially in Australia. Um, you, you know, you got to know some of the history there. And same thing here, you know, we, if we had train stations that didn't tear down here, those would probably be haunted too. Just like any other old building. That's what it cracks me up, that they're just narrowing it down to train stations. 
which is kind of weird that there's like several of them. Yeah. Um, you never know what place. Like, there's a place in Chippewa Falls called the Shealy House, and that place is haunted. People have actually seen the ghost. You know, yeah. and not just one person. Like, people that have worked there, too, have said they, they do one thing at night, and they come in the morning, and everything's, like, rearranged. You know what I mean? Right. And, yeah, I've lived in a haunted place. I've lived in a place that had ghosts. I, I know that for a fact. It was like a poltergeist ghost, like a mean ghost. And that is hell. That is hell. It was an old home. And it was on land that a massacre, an Indian massacre occurred between two Indian tribes. It's not a massacre, a war between two Indian tribes. Yeah took place there on that property. It was weird. There was there was like more than one. It was really weird. The T V turned on by itself one time. Yeah. That totally freaked me out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that freaked me the fuck out. That just don't happen. How does that fucking happen? Uh, I've had a, I've had a st my stereo turn on by itself. Yeah, well, did it freak you out? Um, a little. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how, how does that happen, right? I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, that was freaky. That was freaky deaky. I was like, okay. Let's see and here. in that house, I injured myself so much. No, like, it's I, not that one. But thanks, Chloe. Um, I injured myself so many times. Like, a tin can lid, one of the deepest cuts I ever had was on my, one of my index, my left index finger, and it was a tin can top. Yeah. And you know how thin that is, right? Yeah. That went right down in the, to the bone. To the bone. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, weird shit would happen. Like, I'd drop, like, whole cans, like, cans of fucking vegetables and shit, canned vegetables. Yeah. On my foot. Which, and I felt really clumsy. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then I figured it out. It was a fucking poltergeist. You know? Right. So then I started burning massive amounts of sage. <laughs> you know? It still didn't fucking leave, though. It didn't leave. It kept coming back. Is that it? I think this is it. That was weird. Oh, it wasn't a train station. Okay, well, that explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a quarantine station. Okay. Quarantine station, and the movie is oh, called... That the makes more sense, then. The, the movie is called The Quarantine Hauntings. Oh, okay. But, it, it, yeah, I don't, I don't know why... Oh, that's that's right, and I thought, well, how could they have a quarantine station? What, what kind of strange thing is that? Right, well, for, like, smallpox or something, you know what I mean, or... Whatever, you know, a disease or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it was all right. It was, it was a decent movie. It's been a while since I've seen that. <laughs> <laughs> it's 420, people. We should be celebrating. We should. I mean, okay, aren't we? let's talk wait, about oh, wait, let's aren't talk we? About hemp. Let's talk about hemp. Let's talk about the benefits of hemp. And let's talk about... Not only that, the benefits of cannabis oil. Okay, talk. Okay, cannabis oil is a, it, it can help cure diseases, including cancer. It has been proven time and again. So it's out there, people. You know, you don't have to do, and even if it's not cannabis oil that you use, there's other things other than chemo and radiation. My God. You know, um,. I don't know. It's just, it, it's annoying to me that medicine is being with help from people. And like Cheech Marin said this morning on the radio station in the interview that I heard on um, 92.1 here in Eau Claire, he said, we're coming out of prohibition right now. He said, because before it was illegal, it was, it was legal. It was fine. So this is the, this is the same thing as alcohol prohibition. It's no different. 
So we're, we're coming out of prohibition, and that really rang true to me, because it's like, he's right, you know, and I've known this for a while, you know, and it's good to see this happening, but like I said earlier, I just don't have the patience to wait from this lame state, the, the government in this state, the state's not lame, the government fucking sucks. Right. The governor himself sucks, he's bought and paid for by some rich fucks, <laughs> and you know, it's, it's sickening because you can see it, right, you can, it's happening right in front of our fucking nose, right in front of our eyes, not just this state, all of the states. Yeah. And it's like, you know what, I'm fucking sick of it, I'm done. This bought and paid for shit is bullshit. Everyone knows that the Co Koch brothers or whatever, it's K-O-C-A. Koch, they're the Koch brothers. The, yeah, that's what I call them. You know, that's why Walker keeps getting to be the governor, and it's just not right. If you believe that voting is not rigged, think again. Think again. Because this motherfucker Walker keeps getting voted in, and he's not being voted in. Because he is disliked by so many people in this state that there's no fucking way he's being voted in. No fucking way. Well, of he course it's rigged. Bobby they're all they're all rigged. You know you know they're all rigged. Yeah, and it's it that that alone should talk, because like Kate looked it up for me. Thank you, Kate. There's no term limit. It's four year terms, but there's no limit on how long you can be government, how many terms you can be govern governor. Which is bullshit. I don't I don't agree with that. You know? There needs to be a fucking change, dude. Even if it is government. How can this same motherfucker, when he's hated, he is so disliked, there is no way he he uh, won that election, honestly. There's sure. no fucking way that he did. No, right. Because so many people are against him in this state. And I would say it's 60-40 against him. 60% of the people in this state are against fucking Walker. But yet he still keeps getting in. And that's bullshit. It's, that's, that's proof to me right there. Especially when you know who his backers are. And I know who they are, and they're rich, and they fucking keep putting them in. Yeah, oh yeah, no doubt. Same thing happens with the President of the United States. Right. Same fucking thing. And if you think it's different, I don't know what to fucking tell you. All I can say is you haven't done enough fucking research for yourself. That's all it takes. Like I said, once you start scratching the surface, the issue is, is when we talk about this and we joke about it, whatever, but it's true. If you really have a thirst for this knowledge, you will not be able to stop once you start. All right. Well, but, tell, tell me, just, you know, tell, tell me on a similar but different topic. Okay. <laughs> how 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 well is this going to work out? <laughs> This, this article from today, thedailycoin.org. Bill Gates plans or backs plan to surveil the entire planet from space. That's all kind of fucked up right there. <laughs> Here's a note from the editor. I was thinking earlier today, gee, it would be really great if someone could figure no. out... If this someone could figure out how to surveil us in a new and exciting way, and this article just happened to come online, imagine, can you imagine how excited I was to learn the king of vaccines, Bill Gates, is all about this technology. What would be really no great... No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> what would be really great is if Uncle Bill could figure out a way not... Not only to surveil us from space, but to vaccinate everyone at the same time. <laughs> Sarcasm off. <laughs> okay. So yeah, uh, Earth Now is a new company looking to provide satellite imagery and live video in virtually real time. Its unsettling pitch describes a network of satellites that can see any corner of the globe and provide live video with a latency of about a second. And, uh, look, at, and look at the startup's top investors uh, gives us a lot of confidence that this thing is going to be happening. 
On Wednesday, EarthNow announced that it will emerge from Intellectual Ventures ISF Incubator and become full-scaled commercial business. Its first round of investors comprised a small group of complementary powerhouses, Airbus, the SoftBank Group, Bill Gates, and satellite industry vet Greg Weiler. The amount of the investment's not been disclosed yet, but the announcement says the funding focuses primarily on maturing the overall system designed to deliver innovative and unique real-time Earth observation services. He's, he's a fucking evil bitch. <laughs> he truly is. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't stand I told the boys tonight, I'm like, Bill Gates is a fucking murderer. We asked them, what's the most, the richest, the biggest company in the world? That's what it was, in the world. Microsoft? No. Nope. Uh, Google? Apple? What? You there? Hello, hello? Did I lose you? Am I talking to myself? Am I still online? What's going on here? Hello? Yeah, no, we're still there. We're still broadcasting. Everything looks fine. I don't hear you. Moose girl? <laughs> Where'd she go? <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm talking to myself. I, I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, Skype just dropped out. Her system crashed. Okay, thanks, Anti. Uh, I, I, I did, sometimes, you know, I, 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 I talk to myself all the time anyway, so it's, it's hard to say. Um, your system crashed, but you're still there, so something, only part of it crashed, apparently. All right, um, anyway, so there's that. <laughs> The radio is different than the live stream. Well, the radio is still going, too, uh, and, and, and so is the, the video stream. Um, the butt and the OBS are still working. Uh, all right, well, let's share this for... Let's share this next story, since Moose Girl's off, um, for, for uh, people that like a little bit of uh, rebellion... And this deals with a cryptocurrency exchange and the government. <laughs> yeah, finish, finish, total crash. Well, how are you still here uh, on the chat? Uh, what's going on here? This stupid video is dicking with me. There's a video in this in this article, and it, and it wants to load or not load. Walmart. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Walmart. With one talk from Bar Shut up! I don't want your video. Okay. I knew it was going to do that, though. There's a there's a, a, a cryptocurrency exchange named Kraken, as in, release the Kraken! <laughs> the video's going fine, Chloe, so bleh. Anyway, um... <laughs> So crap, Kraken, Kraken, Kraken Cryptocurrency Exchange says it will not comply with the New York inquiry. In contrast to many of the major cryptocurrency exchanges uh, contacted by the New York Attorney General's office, Kraken co-founder and CEO Jesse Powell says he will not comply with the information request. The resource diversion for this produ uh, production is massive. This is going to completely blow up our roadmap, Pal said on Twitter. Uh, Ethan, your office and mobile phones can yeah, work together. On shut up, stupid advertisement. All right. Uh, <laughs> legitimate entities generally like to demonstrate to their investors that their money will be protected, says Amy Splatnack of New York Journey's General Office. Well, the thing is, um, agreeing to hand over all your customer information, your client information, to the government certainly does not prove uh, what you're, you're saying that, that investors like to have proved to them, that their money is protected. So um, this guy, Jesse Powell, said, somebody has to say what everybody else is actually thinking about the New York Attorney General's inquiry. 
the, the placative kowtowing toward this kind of abuse sends the message that it's okay. It's not okay. You're gone? Oh, you were gone off the chat. I see. <laughs> so anyway, kudos to Kraken for um, standing up to these, these scumbags. <laughs> The, the, the video is fine. Smack Chloe upside the head. Um, <laughs> oh, man. It, wasn't, it wasn't my computer that crashed. And it wasn't the video that crashed. <laughs> anyway, kudos to Kraken for standing up to these scumbags. It's all, what? Is it all quiet? What are you talking about? It's not all quiet. Let me, let me go over here and see. I got. I think I got mine on mute. And it seems to be... Are we, are we talking still? No, it's there. Everything's fine. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> uh, anyway, there you go. Um, so, crypto... Currency companies such as Kraken do not operate in New York because the state requires them to have a bit license from the New York State Department of Financial Services. And they said, screw you. Um, Coinbase, Ripple, uh, Circle Bus, BitFlyer have the license, and ItBit in the Winklevoss Twins Gemini Trust have characters from the Financial Services Department. Or charters, excuse me. <laughs> characters. <laughs> anyway, so I'll give you the link, right? The Kraken. Um, so if you're, if you're going to be trading some cryptocurrencies, uh, you might want to look at Kraken. Uh, I, 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 I signed up for Kraken. It took a while to get my thing approved, my account approved for, for actual trading, but um, it, it's great now, so uh, K R A K E N Kraken is is the site, and uh, so you might want to take a look look into that, see how that works out for you. And since we're on the uh, on on the tech stuff here right now, uh, let's do this. Cowboy Tech, I believe, posted this link earlier today in the chat. This malware will take screenshots, steal your passwords and files, and drain your cryptocurrency wallet. Squirt danger, <laughs> as it's termed, is distributed to users to deploy as they see fit, and attacks. <sighs> I hate these stupid vids in the in the in the articles that start playing. All right, so and attacks have been carried out around the world. Uh, a new strain of malware allows hackers to take action screenshots and steal passwords, download files, and even steal the contents of cryptocurrency wallets. What? What are you talking about? I don't know. Anyway, so I'll give you the link. I, I, I'm just letting you know that it's out there. Um, if if you're running malware, bytes, you're safe. Or if you're running uh, Linux, you're you're safe. Uh, but if you're if you're you know running some other thing like McAfee or whatever, then you might want to look at something different. <laughs> It tells you how you get infected uh, here in this and, and how to avoid getting infected. Um, so just bear that in mind. You, you could wind up being uh, somebody's bitch, and you don't want to be somebody's bitch. Do you? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Now, do you remember the deal that led up to the uh, U.S., U.K., France, France, U.K., U.S., the Fuck Us group um, uh, bombing Syria last week? Remember that? You remember that? Yeah. Well, they, they what they were doing is they were a part of what they were doing, I should say. Uh, nothing's ever about one thing. Um, part of what they were doing was trying to cover up for, for the fake... Uh, poisonings of the scripples over there in the UK. So here's the article from 
the UK. Police identify key suspects in attempted assassination of Sergei and Yulia Skripal as Russian ambassador claims. They were poisoned with the nerve agent by British authorities. <laughs> That's right. They were poisoned with nerve agents uh, by British authorities. Now, of course, this being the Daily Mail, they're, they're going to stick to the official UK government line, and so I'm not going to read the article to you, but I'm just letting you know Part of what they were doing in, in that Syria thing was to try and cover up their misdeeds in not only poisoning these folks, but then trying to pin it on Russia. Rob says he never uses anything. Well, isn't he on Linux? Well, you don't need to use anything on Linux. You're safe. Although I actually do run an antivirus thing on, on my Linux, but... <laughs> but I don't have to because <laughs> I've, I've been running it for about a year now and it's never found a single thing <laughs> oh yeah no you're you're good to go um, what, what is the name of that one that I use over there it's uh let me, see, let me take a quick look here um where, 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 where would I have put that? Komodo. I run Komodo on there. And it runs real-time, you know, scanning, and it also does a weekly scan. No, Komodo. I tried Clam. I was, in, I was not impressed. Um, I know, that's the big thing, but whatever. You can get Komodo. It's free, of course. Uh and uh, it, it, it's, you might have to do a little tweaking in order to get it to work, depending on what kernel you're running. <laughs> I certainly had to. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> anyway. I give, I give you that link. The, scri the scripple. Scripple. Russian scripples. Yeah. All right. And did I put that link here in my ding? My figgy dingy? Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh boy all right that's good enough I think we're good enough we're close enough uh, bit defender yeah I, I don't mind it I, I just let it run and it does whatever it does okay we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play a set here now this first song I'm not saying it's d directly pointed towards any individual here in uh, the chat, but if you believe it, it's pointed at a specific person, that may be yourself, just have a laugh. <laughs> the song cracked me up, and, and I think it'll do the same for you. <laughs> Sing along! Oh yeah! Black Betty, Babylon there, Spider Bait, uh, Samurai Jack AMV is what that uh, particular version is called. Uh, before that, we had the Stoner Train, riding low! Yes, indeed. Uh, before that, uh, now I expected to see some stuff in the chat there about that, that song, that video I was playing, Twisted Sister, with a mariachi band sneaking their way up on the stage there and, and getting in Twisted Sister's way as they were playing, We're Not Gonna Take It. <laughs> I, I found that freaking hilarious, but apparently people in the chat either were not paying attention to the video or something because... Not a single comment. And we kicked it off with a song for Hans. I, I mean, um, a song for whoever called the Dickhead Song by Miles Betterman. <laughs> uh, it's been a fun show. Uh, Boost Girl had a little issue there, so she's uh, not presently on the line here with me. Um, I, I, which is, uh, you know, 
It happens. Stuff happens. Technical issues during live broadcasts, that's part of the show. Anyway, um, so I want to thank everybody for tuning in that did tune in. We'll be back again next week with another Freakers Ball right here on RealLibertyMedia.com. Same bat time, same bat channel. And uh, tomorrow you got the Flash and Grammy at noon Eastern with the Dark Table. I'll be on at noon Eastern on a Sunday morning with the Blues. And we'll be playing some trivia in the chat. So good, good time with that. And then at 3 Eastern and at noon o'clock Pacific is Hal Anthony behind the widget opening a big old can of whoop ass on y'all. Uh, don't miss that. And at 7 p.m. Eastern, Gary L. and uh, Gigi's Boo going down the road less traveled. Uh, Grammy, of course, will be back with the rocket chair at her normal time on both Wednesday and Friday, uh, barring any unforeseen who knows what. Because uh, they're unforeseen, how would I know? Um, <laughs> which is 7 Eastern Monday, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern uh, Monday and uh, Friday. And uh, that's all. Y'all have a great weekend. Uh, talk to y'all later. Peace.